So why the tearful apology today? That's what our Evan Solomon asked Calandra. Evan? Well, Wendy, this is a government not known for making public apologies, let alone tearful apologies, so this came as a real surprise. But what is behind it? Well, sources tell CBC News that Paul Calandra was given the answer or non-answer he gave to Tom Mulcair by the Prime Minister's Office Research Department, an issues manager who preps for question period named Ali Kanvelshi. He was told whatever Mr. Mulcair asks in question period, this is how you have to answer with this partisan attack on the NDP's position on Israel. Mr. Calandra kept repeating that throughout that session and then for a couple of days. Apparently, sources also tell us that senior conservatives were furious with the answer when they heard it, sending notes to the prime minister's office saying this was inappropriate, they were embarrassed by it, and this shouldn't happen. So why did Paul Calandra suddenly apologize? In an exclusive interview with CBC Radio's The House, he told me he was finally ashamed of it, but he denies that he was given the research by the prime minister's office. He said he was, quote, freelancing when he did it, Wendy. I asked him, where did you get that information? He said, someone gave it to me, but he refuses to say who that was. He said he was simply angry about a Facebook posting. He also refuses to say what that was. But he said he was so ashamed about what his father would think about it that he apologized. Here's what he told me. During the Senate debate, I got in trouble for talking, uh, making a, uh, telling about what my father would have expected. Uh, and after uh, uh, thinking about this uh, for uh, a couple of days, um, I'm confident that he would have expected better. You think about your father right now. Mm-hmm. So, Wendy, a tearful Paul Calandra, the Prime Minister's leading partisan attack man, tearing up twice on Friday. The question is, will any of this change? One way to measure it, will Paul Calandra support an NDP motion that Tom Mulcair will put forward next week that will give the Speaker of the House more power to force and compel the government to answer opposition questions more directly? Calandra told me he hasn't seen the motion yet. He'll think of supporting it, but you can bet his behavior will likely change next week. The question is, how long is that going to last? Wendy? Thanks so much, Evan. Evan Solomon.